Many 90 Day Fiancé fans think the TLC producers dropped the ball recently by casting so many cast members who were accused of problematic behavior and racist statements by fans. Many 90 Day Fiancé stars have been called out while filming their respective seasons or after their episodes aired. Viewers are actually shocked by the number of dubious reality stars who have appeared in the franchise. Even though most have been fired, there have been many other issues with the network's casting choices. While editors are trying their best to erase scenes that include problematic 90DF stars, this type of behavior has been allowed to occur over and over again. Alina Cash, the most recent villain in the 90 Day Fiancé universe, is not the only cast member from the show who has been dragged for disturbing and offensive posts. Due to their uneducated posts, fans have been quick to throw shade at and try to cancel an array of reality TV stars. Racially insensitive comments should never be tolerated, but a lot of people feel that higher-ups at TLC have allowed cast members to get away with bad behavior or have just given up on performing background checks. Now, it's time to break down the 90 Day Fiancé cast members who have been called racists. Baby girl Lisa Ham. Pennsylvania native baby girl Lisa Ham claimed that she fell in love with Usman Sohaboy Usmer, who is a Nigerian rapper. Back on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 4, Lisa was caught using the N-word and was subsequently fired from the show. In 2020, the unedited tell-all leaked online, which showed Lisa blatantly using the derogatory slur yet again during an argument. She claimed a word was used out of context, but fans were not buying her excuse. Alina Kasha. Alina Kasha is the latest star to become extremely problematic. Before the 90 Days fans were privy to Alina's social media posts that she shared and tried to delete. These social media posts in question date back to when she spent a year in the US as a foreign exchange student. Viewers were appalled by how she mocked different races and religions. Eventually, TLZ made the decision to take action against Alina. Angela Deem. All things considered, 90 Day Fiancé has severe undertones of racism, xenophobia, and misogyny. Angela Deem, who always spouted American supremacy and her support for Donald Trump, took the cake during her time on the show. Angela's outbursts toward Michael were often parodied but were actually highly offensive. Angela regularly came across as extraordinarily abusive and ended up generating a lot of negative reactions from fans.